हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम संजय गुप्ता इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट स्किल बेस्ड इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चंस रिलेटेड टू सी प्रोग्रामिंग बिफोर स्टार्टिंग यू कैन नोट माय इंफॉर्मेशन व्हिच इंक्लूड माय ऐप बुक्स एंड यूट्यूब चैनल माय ऐप कंटेन्स वेरियस प्रोग्रामिंग रिलेटेड ट्यूटोरियल्स विच विल बी बेनिफिशियल फॉर योर इंटरव्यू पर्पजेज सो कमिंग ऑन टू स्किल बेस्ड क्वेश्चन यू हैव टू आइडेंटिफाई आउटपुट ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन दिस क्वेश्चन कैन बी आस्क इन योर इंटरव्यूज सो फर्स्ट कोर्ट सेगमेंट इज इंट ए इक्वल्स टू फाइव देन इफ ए इक्वल्स टू वन देन प्रिंट एफ एल्स अगेन प्रिंट एफ सो यू हैव टू आइडेंटिफाई आउटपुट ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन सो आउटपुट विल बी बी एम डब्ल्यू नाउ लेसन द एक्सप्लेनेशन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वैल्यू ऑफ ए इज फाइव देन इन साइड इफ ए इक्वल्स टू वन इज यूज सो here single equals to is uh, used so single equals to means assignment operation so one will be assigned into a so value of a becomes one then if condition will check uh, value of one which is non zero so non zero values will be treated as true that's why this printf which is containing bmw will print on console if a equals to zero is uh, written here then output will will be odd because zero is considered as false so this program will not show any error it will produce uh, output as per the code segment uh, uh, because we have used only single equals to operator output is bmw if we use double equals to operator for comparison then output will be odd next code segment is Uh, containing if condition six greater than three, then two printf statements are written, then else, and then printf. So first, uh, I am uh, displaying output of this program. So it is showing syntax error, means this code will not compile, and error is misplaced else. Now listen the reason. This if uh, is followed by two printf statements. So Uh, you all know that if we want to execute multiple statements then curly braces are required so if we don't use curly braces then if will if will be linked with this uh, printf only remaining these three statements will be disconnected with if and we have uh, used else here so if these three statements are disconnected with if means else is also disconnected and we cannot use else without any if condition that's why syntax error misplaced else will be printed if you want to remove this error you can use curly braces uh, to enclose these two printf statements just after if condition next code segment is related to loop in this for loop Uh, two curly braces are written and initialization termination condition and increment decrement parts are missing so this uh, uh, code segment will print infinite times bmw will be printed so output of this program will be bmw uh, which will print infinite times now listen the reason uh, this four is uh, written properly this will not produce any syntax error so uh, reason is initialization increment decrement or condition all three parts are optional while we are writing for uh, statement so uh, no initialization condition or increment decrement is written that's why uh, this loop will not terminate so uh, whenever this loop will be initiated uh, first it will print bmw then again increment decrement or condition will be checked so uh, condition is not available that's why uh, the control of uh, uh, for loop will not be terminated that's why bmw will print infinite time so remember we can write these kind of for loops but these loops will be infinite so you have to convert these loops uh, in finite that's why you can uh, print certain finite uh, set of uh, outputs on console this is next code segment inside this code segment this for loop is written again uh, these three uh, statements are not available 
initialization termination condition and increment decrement but if condition is written inside for loop so first i am showing output of this code which is 0 1 2 3 and 4 so now check this code because it is printing finite result but uh, initialization condition and increment decrement are not here so initially i is 0 so these parts are not available so uh, it is uh, it will be treated as infinite but inside uh, for loop <coughs> if condition is checking this i double equals to 5 which is false so break will not execute curly braces is not uh, curly braces are not available that's why if is linked with this break only this printf and i plus plus will be executed always whether if is true or false so this printf will print value of i so currently it is zero so zero is printed here followed by two dots then i plus plus i becomes one again this if condition is checked one double equals to five again it is false so printf will print one and two dot dot then i plus plus i becomes two again condition will be checked condition is false so this i uh, will print two and two dots then i plus plus i becomes three again if condition will be checked three double equals to five which is again false so printf will print three and two dots then again this i plus plus will increase value of i uh, i becomes four again if condition will be checked it is false so printf will print four and two dots again i plus plus so now i is 5 so this time if condition is true and this break will execute so break is used to terminate execution of for loop so because of this for uh, this break for loop will be terminated that's why this for loop is working as finite so whenever you don't mention a condition in for uh, statement then inside for loop you can use break to terminate execution of for loop this is another code segment again for loop is uh, used here initial value is 0 condition is i less than equals to 10 then i plus plus but remember semicolon is uh, used here so first time showing the output which is 11 now listen carefully the reason first initialization take takes place then condition will be checked after condition checking increment part will be done because of this semicolon so a for loop is followed by semicolon that's why this printf statement is not part of for loop so i plus plus means i becomes 1 then condition will be checked and this rotation will takes place uh, uh, till this condition is true when this condition will be false control will transfer to this printf statement so Uh, if i is 10 then condition is true if i becomes 11 then this condition will be false so uh, when loop will be terminating value of i is 11 so printf will print 11 on console that's why output is 11 so whenever we place semicolon just after uh, for loop then the uh, statements which are connected with for loop automatically disconnects and uh, loop will uh, repeat in, inside condition and increment and decrement so after termination the statements which are written just after the for loop will execute only one time next code segment so you can read this question and answer is also uh, written here so this for loop contains i equals to 1 then condition is only n then in increment decrement part scanf statement is written and this for loop is uh, connected with this printf statement so output will be value of n will be printed every time if user enters 0 then loop will terminate so initially n is 5 first initialization is i equals to 1 then uh, condition is n so n is 5 so condition is true so n will print 5 first then increment decrement part contains scanf so scanf will read a number from user so if this number which is uh, entered in n is non zero then this non zero will be treated as true and if this n is zero 
that zero will be considered as false so that's why if you are entering uh, values other than zero then uh, those numbers will be printed uh, turn by turn and if you enter zero then this loop will be terminated so uh, you can uh, predict the output if you are entering uh, values other than zero then those values will be displayed on console uh, when you enter zero then loop will be terminated next port segment contains while inside while only one is written and inside curly braces printf statement is printing bmw so first i am uh, showing the output uh, it is showing bmw will print infinite times so this is another form of infinite loop so while contains one so one is a constant value which will remain same always no increment decrement operations uh, are defined inside a while loop so while one means true so first time bmw will print again while checks its condition it is again one uh, so it is true so one remains one because it is constant value that's why this while becomes uh, infinite loop and bmw will be printed infinite times so if you want to implement any infinite loop you can simply use while and inside while you can place one so uh, friends i hope these uh, code segments and their outputs will be beneficial for your preparation for interviews thank you for watching these videos uh, hope uh, uh, this series will be uh, beneficial for your placement purpose thank you